Well, it's over. It's done. This ridiculous notion that the early European settlers built the stone constructs of the Northeast, that conversation is dead. And the ancients won. I'm really pretty surprised it took me this long to figure out because it's so simple and it's so available. It does it doesn't need any fancy science or any fancy archaeology. You just gotta peel. Even the tall wall-like ones, this one's a perfect circle from above, if you can see my video. Even they at the bottom, you can see there's stonework waiting to be peeled at the base. All of that, when I peel that back, it's gonna reveal stone. Listen, that peel takes minimum of 600 years to grow. Go look it up. Four to five inches takes of mycelium rich, true forest uh, mat sod like together, a dense kind of thing like that. Takes a minimum of 600 years to grow, but it's probably more like a thousand or more. I didn't even notice this gorgeous serpentile mound here because it was covered in this peel. And so I started just rolling it back. Here's a shot of that. And so here's a roll of that peel right here. But basically, this construct has been cleaned up and we're looking at a whole lot of beautiful assembled stones there, very intentioned. On to the next one. Likewise with this one. All these big stones here, they were completely underneath about a four, five inch thick roll of peel. You can see it right there. That's basically where the, the peel stopped revealing this gorgeous mound. So yeah, even these big stacked, beautiful walls of big, big stone like that, they've got peel at the bottom. Let me just show you here. All right, there we go. See that? Uh, you see that stuff? All that rich rich soil, sod-like stuff. Well, what's underneath it? Stone. There it is. Now a lot of this right here at the base I peeled a while ago. By the way, look at the beautiful curve on this particular one. You see that? Curvy, curvy, curvy. What I don't think people realize about these these works out here in the Northeast and West Quebec is that they're not just a handful of cairns here and there. These are complex, extraordinarily large sites that would have taken a, a really organized feat of engineering to create. This entire mountaintop has been terraformed and there's stone pathways, this huge one being one of them, two or three levels, you can't really tell because most has been swallowed up by earth over time, which again takes about a thousand years. But if you start to peel the foundation walls of this pathway, you see this. This goes for about a quarter mile, half kilometer. I'll show you three more bits I've peeled on the way down this large embankment. About 300 meters or so, let's say 200 meters down this pathway that has this embankment and retaining wall all the way. And let's have a look at the old peel and reveal here. That was all under that carpet of soil. So you're probably thinking, yo, Ranger Steve, that last one looked like kind of like it could be natural. Well, you know, so does that, right? But does this? No, that doesn't look natural. And so I've been peeling away. And it goes like I say, retaining wall, you know, from 10 to 20 feet in areas for about a quarter mile, half kilometer. 
and there's two more tiers of this spiraling spiraling up this one mountain there it is like i say it's over it's done thank you to the peel and the beautiful probably intelligent conscious mycelium for weaving together this beautiful protective quilt with which we can once and for all absolutely determine that these structures predate the colonial settlers the european settlers by not just a hundred years but by a few hundred years probably more like a thousand hey like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video because i'm going to start talking about just how long these things have been here thanks we'll see you soon